Hello, so happy you could join me on this beautiful day. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got going on here today is a pre-stretched canvas 16 by 20. And I covered it with a thin coat of a blue spray paint that you can get from your local hardware or hobby shop. And what I do is I covered it with a thin coat of liquid clear, which will help the, the oils to go on a lot smoother make it a lot easier. Then I took painter's tape, made a line right across the horizon. Maybe today I'm going to do some, maybe a beach scene again. Some palm trees, waves coming in, white beach, white sandy beach. Maybe we'll put some seagulls in. But I started out with that blue. So I'd like to start out by saying thank you to all my viewers and subscribers. I want to make a note and a point of thanking everybody at the beginning of my videos from now on. How much I appreciate it and like all the comments you've made. Uh, it's very nice. I try to respond as many as I can. Uh, but I'd like to thank you again. So what we got going on here is the painter's tape. Any information and all the colors you'll need to paint along with me will come across the screen right about here. So let's get started on this beautiful day. Just making sure that stays down. I get in a fan brush here, titanium white, load it up, I'm gonna make some clouds, just like that. Load it up at the horizon, maybe up here we'll start out. Maybe it goes down. Maybe it goes. Who knows? Just like that. I'm just going to fill all this in. Just the way a cloud would look. Load it up. Leave some blue up there. Right there is good. goes off over there. Just like that. Maybe down here we can have some coming up here. Going off. All the way down. All the way down to the horizon. Maybe all this is down here. It's going to go right along that edge. Give it that look of the clouds down here. You can leave some lighter areas. Just keep loading it up with the white. Could have some darker, some lighter areas. Maybe right in here it's pretty uh, pretty cloudy. Right in this area. doing circular motions. I hope you can hear that. Filling it in. Then we'll come in and tap it in and get some things happening down here. blue that's already on there, it kind of gives you the texture in the back. The lighter. I'm just filling it all in. Filling it all in with a cloudy day. Come in with the blender brush. Got to use just the corner. 
I'm going to tap this in. up there where it's a little bit sharper because in the clouds they got that edge there. Sharp edge. Highlight some dark, lighter areas if you'd like, on the corners. I think we'll do is get into some gray, just a touch of gray. See if that pops a little. Gives you more of a distance and different things kind of happening. The circular motions will give that cloudy look, the cloudiness that you might see. That you might see in the sky. in some areas. Maybe there's a storm coming. Maybe there's a storm coming off in the distance. I'm just going to tap this. It leaves some of it darker. Whatever you think. more. a real cloudy day. Now I'm going to do circular motions down here to get that look of clouds. Here and there. Excess. Moment of truth. You get the look of the horizon. Now we can start on making some waves. here. It's got a chiseled edge. I'm going to grab some whites. Liquid clear. Thin it out. Just like that. Maybe come in and tap in some water out here. Just 
just going straight across. Have a more white. Here and there. Even spaces in between. Because you get that look. There's water back there. Let me get into some liquid white. More liquid white on this brush here. To load it up and maybe come in to right about here we'll make. Make a big wave crashing in. Maybe it goes almost all the way out. And it comes down. And we'll just tap some of this in. breaking. Got that foamy stuff right at the bottom. Who knows? Maybe it comes right back up. And we got another one right here. Maybe it peaks right there. Goes off in the distance. whites. A little bit of liquid clear. Thin it out. Maybe come in right here. Right where it's crashing in. Yellows and whites, I believe. And we'll... I think we'll thicken this up first. I think we'll thicken this up. It'll be a big... big wave coming in. gap in between there. Maybe it goes all the way. Maybe it goes all the way back. Maybe this comes over here too and it's lighter over here. Or the wave is going to crash here. Maybe there's some back here. Who knows? I think the 
blender brush, just a tip. Blend it in. Blend it in. Blend it in. Pull down. Where you think it might be coming. be too high yet. This one here, be back in the distance. Get the liner brush. color highlight that. I like this right in here. Right where it would come. Maybe over here. Can just like that all the way. Kind of makes it pop just a little bit more. Put some down here where the foam is. white on this blender brush just on the corner come in and tap in some foam
darker over there. blender brush kind of pull up into the wave darker color, the blues, and go right over the top of this wave here. Kind of make it stand out a little bit more. Chop that edge up. Okay. Into this fan brush, pull down some white. I think. pull down some white here. Get the shape of the wave. Get the shape of the wave coming. here. It's a filbert brush. Put a tap into this here. Diffuse this. Not have it so bright that line. But still have it there. All I'm doing is pulling. Tapping into the white and pulling down.
same thing over here. You want it to be there, but then you don't. Just want that edge to be. Just kind of blending that back now. It's kind of sharp. So you don't have as sharp as a, of an edge. Now I'm going to go into that same color and pull down some lines that you see coming from the wave. Use it some. You know what that look of it crashing in. And yet you got that misty stuff. I'm gonna grab some of that. Just on this brush here, the felper, just on the tip, that brown color. Come in here and tap it. Tap it and get some shadowy color in there. Darkness. Right at the bottom. Almost right around it. here. That's where it's going to be the darkest right there. And all the way. Okay. Now we can get this chisel edge brush Gonna load it up and then maybe have water line right here. Maybe it goes right off. To the distance. Now we'll take the fan brush, this one here, and we're going to pull back on it. Pull back. water line. Take another, pull some more up. Maybe, maybe we'll have another one right down here. Maybe it goes right up. Remember I told you we're going to have a beach here. All I'm doing is pushing down. brush pull back leaving a gap in between makes it look like there's layers levels
maybe right in here. Boy, that's some gray. Some gray, I think. beach or the sandy beach maybe a little brown not too much not too much brown more of a grayish like that. Now we'll come into the blender brush and pull down, straight down, right up to that water line. line, bring this water line closer. Just using white, liquid white. Then we'll highlight it with a dark color like we did. That'll set that off. Clean it off. I'm using odorless paint thinner. Add some white. And then we're going to pull back with what we got on there already. We just brought that water edge closer. Now we're going to go in there and Finish that off with the blue. Give, give it that ledge. Starting up here. All the 
way down the water's edge. breaks that in. Gives it that reflection look. Okay, now, now I'm going to go into some green and brown, I think. Maybe just over here they got all that stuff that's happening at the beach where it's the stuff that's on the It's all the stuff that came up from the ocean. here and load it up with the greens and browns and whatever else. I'm just tapping. give it a, a smooth look because at the beach it's got all kinds of stuff in there. Just along the le ledge there, along the line. Let's see what we got. Getting into some browns now. And we'll put some stuff back here. Tapping that in. Here's the blender brush to tap it in. here. Go into some browns, dark browns, liquid clear. I'm going to come up here and make some
for the right size. bottom down there. The way you might see it. Close, close by. You can keep going right along there if you want. Right along the water. We'll fill this in over here. And we'll shade that in. Here, I think. Bring your 
bring that down. I got that edge. Okay. Now we'll come into some dark brown. Oh, a mixture, I think. paint right across the edge. Maybe it will come out here. Kind of make a cliff. Make a cliff right on the edge. some white just tap it wherever you think the light might be hitting maybe along the top brush. We'll clean up this edge down here. Put a water line in. water came up. Just like that. A little bit more. Thicker. Just like that. It's pretty good to me. I'm going to leave it. Let's go into a brush here to make some palm trees. We are going to need dark brown. Like a Van Dyke brown. Cleaning the brush off. Come right in. Load it right up on the little chisel brush I have here. Just like that. Okay, maybe we're going to have three of them. There's one. Maybe there's one up here.
maybe one out. Maybe one out on the edge. They all come together. Okay, I'm going to go into some light colors. White. Come on the edge here. And tap it. Or maybe the light is hitting it. That one's further back. I'm not going to see a lot of that. Not as much as you'll see on these. Wipe off. Come and pull. Get that look of the palm trees. got that rough edge to it. Okay, I'm going to come back in. Start doing some leaves, branches in the palm tree. Maybe the branches are coming this way because of the water and the wind, the wind blowing them. Wind's really hitting this front one. Blowing them right back. Branches on. I do it 
do them this way, almost one at a time. You could probably take a fan brush and do it, kind of one motion. But I kind of like the way these look. They turn out, I think, more more real. A little bit more time consuming, but get good practice. All kinds of things happening. Picked up some of that white from the in the clouds. Got to keep going into the dark colors. to a chisel point. Just come in all the different shades of greens. This is my second painting today. I know some of you have commented on how busy I am or but it's fun. It's fun to try new things. The more you paint, the more you figure out and you end up doing things with different paint brushes that Maybe you normally didn't do before. I'm just coming along and looking at it. Seeing how maybe I want to darken it up or
Just keep working on it. So you get it the right shade or texture. stuff happening in here. It really doesn't matter too much. Just dotting this up, filling it in some. The way the palm tree might look. It's got all that stuff happening in there. highlighting it. Maybe down here we're going to put some darker brown. Darker brown I believe. Let's find this brush here. Go into some browns. Black some brown. that in there, defuse it, blend it in, so it's not such a sharp line there. All kinds of things happen in there, right at that edge. Now we can take the fan brush or the palette knife, get a little bit of paint here. Maybe we can come down here and put some things happening right there. Something. white things, and dark things. Just grabbing some white. Loading it up. see get some dark green in here I think dark green in here darken it up just like that now we'll pull it
darker greens like that. brush maybe pull up here get that get that illusion going up some different colors down there say so myself. Just trying to trying to send and get this looking the same. All the way back. Get that darkness in the water. Now what I see put some white lines in for the water. For the water going up. Liquid weight. Maybe they're coming up here. happening there. there. Darken this up. Darken it up.
Okay. Let's drop in some seagulls. Drop in some big seagulls. One right here. It's a big one. Maybe one over here by the palm tree. palm trees there coming in. Do some more water lines. A little brush I'll just use them. Foamy things happening. Okay. You can keep going at it as much as you want at home but for right now. For taping purposes. I'm just going to call this completed painting. The sign mine in the bottom corner here. I also like putting the ears in. I always sign mine with my last name. Some people like to use their initials. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. This is the second one today. This one's more on the bluish side, lighter blue. The other one I did was more on a darker blue. Something different with some stuff happening. The other one I did with the white beach, which uh, I thought turned out nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one little land sitting out there and I hope you come back and paint along with me and thank you for all viewing me and sending in the comments and subscribing have a nice day